twins turn one in less than two weeks, which I can't believe. And I wanted to squeeze in a few more of these little routine videos while the twins are still babies. So let's do 24 hours with our 11 month old twins. Good morning, everyone. I am currently opening up all of the blinds for today. Oh, to start the day. So it is first thing in the morning. It is 7.13 a.m. I just organized their toy cupboard down here. So they just got a new Love Every subscription box the 11 to 12 months one. So a lot of this stuff comes from that. And then there's also a lot of books down here. I feel like I wanna start doing toy rotation with them and following more of like a Montessori style of introducing toys. But right now, this is how we do it. I just opened the doors in the cupboard. I know that like, it's not very Montessori, but I'll get there. drink the coffee that I made yesterday afternoon and didn't end up drinking. Waste not, want not. This is a pretty typical morning for us, so I'm excited to share it. The twins did sleep in this morning. They usually wake up between 6 and 7. I think they woke up at like 6.45 this morning, and that was a win. I feel pretty rested, except I feel like I was up a lot in the night. I convinced myself that there was a robber, and that's what the banging was, even though I could be the cat meowing. It was definitely the cat's. Oh. Baby needs me. Are you a vlogger, honey? Look at you go. Good work. Good work. Look at those camera angles. I never use the stroller in this configuration, but one thing I love about the Bugaboo Donkey is that it has options for the seats so you can face each seat either towards you or away from you so right now they're facing each other which is pretty cool but he really wanted to face out typically they face me so that's what we're doing this morning and it's working the twins are getting to the age where they recognize routine and they definitely enjoy their routines typically we go for a walk every morning when they woke up and it's definitely a part of their day that they really like it's been raining a lot lately so they haven't been able to get out and they've definitely been missing it. Sometimes we'll go to the park, sometimes we'll just walk around, sometimes we'll go to do some shopping. It really just depends on the day. I just parked so bad. It was ridiculous. So little driving update. I got my license like a year ago now, just about. I need to check the date that I got it because it might be like exactly a year ago. I still don't like driving, but I do it. And today it was to drive Elsie to the groomers. I literally got home from the walk, dropped the boys off with Allie who just woke up for the day. We still take turns. I'm sure Allie will explain. Maybe she won't. I didn't tell her we were vlogging today. We take turns, rotate every other day who gets up with the twins early and who either like does their own thing in the morning until like first nap or whoever is working or whoever gets to sleep in. You kind of get to do whatever you want with that little chunk of time because we don't both need to be taking care of the kids, but we both don't need to start work before 9 a.m. Um, so we might as well like rest or like do whatever. It's kind of left over from when the twins were newborns. That's what we did. But like I was saying, I dropped Elsie off at the groomers and she was like shaking and freaking out and just having like the worst time. My poor baby, I feel so bad for her. But she's a doodle, so she has to get groomed and she literally does this every like six weeks. So I don't know why it freaks her out so much. Okay, so my parking job is slightly better, but I hate going to the north end because parking sucks. I feel like a 
coffee. This bag should be illegal, but I had points to use, so it was free. So I figured why not get the biggest coffee that I can. So I did. Good morning. morning. <laughs> I was saying good morning to you. Oh, good How morning. How did you sleep? I did not sleep good. I've been sleeping so terribly, and I don't know why. Do you? Did you think there was a robber in the night? It was the cat. She knocked over a glass of water, but I did come down to investigate. And I feel like I was like up like 25 times probably. I didn't sleep well either. Why do they drink every time we pick up the camera? Oh my god, yeah. <sighs> anyway, no, I didn't sleep well, but in the morning time I did, so that good. was good. I was very happy with my day. Yes. I'm but then I, 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 it was cut short because Elsie had to go to the groomer. At 8.45. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but on your days, you sleep sometimes nine, till 9.30. And so the odd time you need it. And, so and this was needed the day I needed it. it. And I didn't get it. Sorry. Elsie. No, she needs a groom. She does. She needs her grooming. So I think it's just because we're sick. Like, I'm still not. I didn't rest ever. We're still sick. You can tell. I'm looking rough. No, you look beautiful. No. You look beautiful. Don't talk badly look about at my this. life. You look stunning. Look Ugh. at you. I can't even. She's beautiful. <laughs> Allie and oh, I were both um, just I sitting here. I realized I had missed a call a few minutes ago. We I missed a call because we were on a call. So. We just got off a really, really fun call. Allie's gonna go pick up the dog. I was saying, I feel like we can tease what we, what our call is about. Yeah, you can. So we just got off a really fun me. creative call for so cool. a new like merch line. <gasps> Which is and, but it's so fun. Like something that we love so yes. much and wear all the time. Perfect. Okay, right. I'll be there go in a few dog. minutes. I'm so sorry I missed the first call. But yeah, it's going to be great. So I'm so excited. Yay! Ah! We're talking inclusive sizes. I think it's looking like it'll be up to like 5X, made in the Maritimes, shipping worldwide. It is just going to be such an amazing, fun collaboration with a small business and I just cannot wait. It's hard to it's hard to drink. <laughs> it's hard to drink with stubby nose. I picked up the doodle. She's good. Let's look at her groom. Doodle, where are you? Doodle. Oh, look at that doodle. She's beautiful doodle. Look so fluffy. So fluffy and nice. Oh, what long ears. Someone once cut her ears, so her ears are actually way up here. Someone once cut them like right to her ear so they looked like lilies. And we've been growing them out ever since. Hey, Lily. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, that's a good smile. My head hurts so bad. I might need to take some time off. Is that your hand? Oh. Only one twin is up so far at 11.43. They went down at um, 10. So it's an hour and 40 minute nap for one and the other's still sleeping. So the twins turn one really soon, like we said, and I got these sweaters to do this Where cute little embroidered birthday sweater thing. Okay. I got these from Old Navy. I got one like a cream knit and then I got one a brown knit. I have to go to the store and get yarn to embroider the one on them. Good. Allie and I are going to I, I do these I tonight. Do it if you teach me. I don't even need you to teach We'll have me. to do like a, you'll have to do a practice. Cause one twin can't have like a beautifully done one and the other have a wonky you can one. Just pull it out. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's like a project for today is like getting these sweaters done so we can go to the apple orchard and take first birthday photos. <gasps> Yay. Yay. We got all of these really cool, fun prints and frames for a gallery wall for the twins' playroom. It's gonna look so, so good. Excited. I'm gonna work on it while you guys go to the shopping. And oh, come here, baby. Um, They're so cute. There's so I'll many. I'll show nice them ones. if you leave the camera. I will leave the camera and I will, I will vlog on my phone. I will show. Them. I think we have a code too. Ooh. But they're so cute. I'm so excited to see it come together. And We're then, going for a really like kind of retro vibe for the playroom and like really colorful was, and like yeah, skater I, surfer vibe. I'm thinking like, of putting like a record up on the wall too. Just like 
Yeah, they love music. Yeah, um, kind of like this. Yes. This is actually also, our- Also, my uncle Earl's sending a box of records with a, with mom and dad, because my parents are- coming. Oh yeah. So my uncle Earl's sending a box of like old, old records that he had for his record player. Cool. So there might be one even. Oh, I think we probably have but one. we probably have one that we don't mind. Yeah. But it'll be exciting to get lots of new records. Yes, it will be. This is actually what we did for our guest book at our wedding. It turned so out so cute. good. I love it. You can see all of the signatures. These ones did smudge. They smudged immediately. I would not recommend that kind of pen, I guess. Come on back up, baby boy. Oh, I know. But the boys love boy. records. She's also making dinner I now in the slow doing cooker. All the housewife stuff while you're out. I yeah. work. So I'm going to work and I'm making some roasted peppers potatoes for the boys for lunch and I'm I've never made like a curry before when I'm making us dinner in the slow cooker which I haven't used in years me either but I thought it'd be easy oh baby away from Lily oh baby watch out baby so yeah I'm gonna make a curry so I'm gonna make our dinner I'm gonna clean and do the offset wall I'm doing many things at once yes. but it's a race to see if I can get all of it done before you get back because that would be great yeah, here we go. And then we can do something fun in the afternoon. Woohoo! Me and the twins are about to run out and go do some shopping. We're just gonna head all over town and just get a few things that we need to get. So here we go. So now we are just running into the Dollarama. I will say, one thing I'm jealous about with parents that just have one baby is you can just carry your baby into the store if you're running in quick I have to have like this whole contraption at all times <laughs> so here is the start of my slow cooker curry invention I don't know why we don't use the slow cooker honestly because I feel like it's gonna be so much more easy you know all right so the dinner is in the twins food is in the oven I just emptied the garbage and I'm like washing out and soaking the inside of the garbage. I don't know, it like gets dirty. So I'm doing that and now I am going to give the kitchen a clean and a wipe and then start the opposite wall. I'm just powering through to try and get all this done before Sam and the boys get home. So let's see if I can do it. The thing is there's film on either side of this glass. So it's not just like putting in the frames, you have to like peel back, which doesn't actually sound that bad when I say that loud <laughs> but it's quite time consuming so I think I'm gonna try to put like a documentary on maybe well I do this I need some cantaloupe <laughs> helping me duty yeah Allie didn't get a clip of how the opposite wall gallery wall turned out but I freaking love it oh my gosh we did end up doing the record. This is the same print that the twins have in their nursery that we love so much we got again. I love the alphabet. I love all the different frames and like ways of hanging, like that versus a frame versus there's a letter board. I just think it all turned out so good. Oh, where can I set you? That's right. Okay, super quick mini haul about all the things that me and the twins just got out shopping. Some gluten-free cookie mix, gluten-free maple shortbread cookies delicious we got some cards we have so many babies coming into our life some baby cards these are for the twins birthday i went to walmart and got yarn for those sweaters that i said i was going to embroider i got some children's halloween books at the dollarama and also got some wrapping paper at the Dollarama, and then the biggest sale was a great savings at sport check which is like a sports store as you couldn't guess from the name, they had like a crazy yeah. sale on. So these like fleece one piece baby outfits are perfect for fall, I think. They're Columbia brand. They were regular $69.99 each and I got them for $20 even. And then this is a snowsuit. It's like a little bear snowsuit. The brand is Zrip Zone Durable Water Repellent. It was regular $74.95, 99 sorry, and I got it for $17. So great savings, very, very happy about that because snowsuits are so expensive. So that was a great savings. I just happened to go in there to look for fall um, outfits for taking the boys out to like the park and them crawling around and stuff because I didn't know what 
what they should be wearing. It's getting cold out. Yeah. How's lunch? I ate all of my cheese. Here Good. Go. They, they love shredded cheese. There you go. And delicious. Yummy. What'd you make them? Did you um, tell the vlog already? Just roasted peppers and <laughs> garlic and potatoes. And I blended it up. <laughs> They were like a little well roasted. <laughs> nice. I was gonna give it to them, but then I didn't, so. Delicious. Oh, yucky. Who's that guy? <gasps> Look at those feet. Was he? <laughs> I thought that this said, can I play with your dandelion? I don't even know what that <laughs> I means. play with your I didn't know either. It doesn't say like, can I play with your dandelion? I think it's a panty line. It does. Oh, on the camera. <laughs> yeah. We are now going to go play ball with the dog. Play ball! So it's not, this isn't a typical 24 hours because it wasn't like a work day, I guess. It's a, it's a medium work day. I did work, but. Hi. It's like we had a slower day. I never said today. it was a typical. I just said day oh. like 24 hours away. Okay. So, can you smell my boogie We're going to try to. <laughs> we're going to go play ball with the dogs. Yes, we are. Yeah. Can you smell All my boobs? Why are you playing with my boobs? I think he does. Uh, He's yeah, to look. Look. <laughs> Why are you in the van? Also, look how messy the back of our van is. There's so much, why are you following me? There's so much stuff in it all the time. But mostly look at the dog hair. So I don't know how to tell when carrots are ready and my carrots are in the garden and I said I'll just pick one and see how, how it's growing. Look at how big the green is. I was like, this is gonna be a big carrot. <laughs> it's a stop. It looks like micro penis. <gasps> That's what I was thinking. Oh God, what do I do? Do I give it to the dog? Rosie, yeah, Rosie, Rosie. Come, here. come eat it. Do you want a carrot, baby? No one ever wants to ask from the other. Elsie? Yeah, Elsie likes it. Oh, that's a good girl. We're baking. We need aprons. We need aprons. Okay, next up, aprons. I already got the KitchenAid out, some of the ingredients. Oh, what if we do make? pumpkin chocolate okay. loaf with like a cream cheese icing and stuff? Sounds delicious. We have an audience, but mommy, did you know he took his apart? Oh my gosh, how did that happen? <gasps> So, we have our aprons on. I have this one that Allie had made for me. It says Mama. It's so cute. Allie's mom made My hers. Made this one. They're so it's cute. actually the same material as a quilt she made me in high school. Yes. Your special quilt. Yeah. So you now that here. Um, somewhere? No, I think it's at home. Mm. Also, I still didn't get ready today. So, yeah. they're getting a real, a real behind the scenes look at our life. I wanted to say that I signed up for, that's so loud. I signed up for pottery class. Why did you do that? Because it's a little trick that makes it pour into the paper. Nice. I signed up for pottery classes. They were supposed to start today, but ended up getting pushed for two weeks. I don't know why. So I'm gonna definitely wear this in my pottery class. I'm gonna look so cute. I feel like so stylish in this little apron. All right, I added the pumpkin pie spice, and now I'm adding the uh, flour. If Allie sends me this recipe, I will link it down below. I'm not a clean baker. No. But I do I clean say no. at the end. She Allie thinks, thinks that she can eyeball what a teaspoon or a I, tablespoon looks like. I think anyone who bakes or has a lot of experience baking can. They say that baking is a science and that it's supposed to be exact. Well, it is. That's not exact. It is exact. No, your uh, guesstimate is. is not exact. If this turns out perfect, then, uh, then I'm the winner. Okay, deal. Sorry, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say you were right, Wazzy, because you just poured like a gallon of vanilla oh my in here. Gosh. She has no concept of measurements. 
Yep. Allie's still just eyeballing it. Also, she told me to give do three quarters and give me a third table, a third half cup instead I instead of do three. I wasn't looking. Wow, I think it's, it's a bath night, eh? Yeah. Look at those eh. babies. We don't need to Allie didn't your wet follow. Dry. She didn't follow the instructions you at need all. To separate your wet and dry. It said who? I just. I've never done it and it worked. Now we got some very dirty babies and we're gonna hop in the tub but give them some privacy. Ready? Long, is that feet content? <laughs> By accident, yes. I want a pumpkin. I want to Thank find you. a pumpkin the perfect size and shape. If you can help. Oh my gosh, what a miserable bedtime, holy. Wow, that took forever and it took Ellie and I to get both twins down at 7.18. They went to bed at 6.30, so it took 40 minutes to get them down. Sucks. It is now 9.30 and I completely forgot we were vlogging. So, I just spent the last however long embroidering these sweaters for the twins. So this one, I definitely, <laughs> I keep telling Ellie, I like the way this one turned out better purely because the yarn was thicker. So it doesn't show all the bumps and the curves like the thin yarn does. But both turned out super cute. I love them. You did such a good job. Thank you. They look so good. I'm really, I'm really proud of them. And then we're coming up with some outfit ideas because tomorrow we're going to shoot the birth, the birthday boys, the boys' first birthday photos. Just could even we could even wake up them. before them. We could set like a 6 a.m. alarm. And be totally ready. Get our makeup done, yeah. Should we? Yeah. Because it's worth it. Let's do it. I'm trying to move. Oh, hi. Hi. It is currently like 10 o'clock. Allie's going to sleep. I'm gonna read a little bit more of my book. I'm reading Legends and Lattes. I have it out on my phone, aka my like Libby app from the library at an ebook, and I need to finish it by tomorrow. So I might be up for a little bit reading because I really want to finish it. It's really good. And we're getting up early. We're getting up at 6 a.m. we decided so that we can get there bright and early to the apple orchard to take some photos and have some fun with the twins. We're going to go to the Annapolis Valley, so it'll be great. And Allie is rosy. Oh, I always have rosy. I was just saying I love my dogs so much, but I would love one night without them in the bed. But you can't. I know. And then they move all night. Where's Elsie? A bit bad? She's over in the corner. Look at her. Oh, Elsie. That's weird. I don't oh, know weird. I've ever seen her either. No, she's, she is. She, oh, I guess in the night. She usually sleeps under our bed, which is weird. Um, oh, I moved. Oh, I moved the sock thing. Oh, she can't get under. I'll move it right now. Uh, no, she didn't even try. Oh, okay, then I won't. Allie did have to, I didn't say, even after the horrible bedtime around 8.30ish, one of the twins woke up and she had to feed him. Yeah, I uh, gave him six ounces. And he ate it all? He sucked it I up. anticipated that he was going to because he seemed like he was hungry at bedtime and I, I didn't give him any. I should have. Bad mom, wow. <laughs> 